Hey, what's up guys? We're back today with another dry ice experiment. Dry ice is extremely cold, but it never gets old. And you've seen people throwing this stuff in their swimming pool where it makes a really cool effect. And you might remember last summer I went to the hot springs and dumped in 100 pounds of this stuff to see how it would react with hot water. But today the ground is frozen over. My fish pond has a thin layer of ice, so I wanted to see what would happen if we tried throwing dry ice into a frozen fish pond. Let's check it out. But wait, there's more. We're gonna throw this bucket of dry ice into our fish pond. And don't worry, there aren't any fish in there. Now this just froze over last night, so the layer of ice isn't that thick. That means if we throw the dry ice hard enough, we might be able to get it to penetrate straight through down into the water. Is the dry ice gonna crack through, or is it just gonna skittle around on the top? This will be interesting to see. Let's see what happens if we just throw one chunk of dry ice in there. <laughs> That's awesome. But it's gonna take a little bit more to get it through. And look how, wow, look at what it's doing to the, underneath the ice here. It's actually forming carbon dioxide gas right underneath the ice. That was unexpected. But I guess it makes sense. I'm gonna throw another piece down there right beside it and see if we can get the same effect. Now we need to go all the way through the ice. There we go. Oh, this is actually gonna be really cool. Here goes another one right over here. See, once the dry ice is under there, it releases carbon dioxide, but the carbon dioxide gets trapped under the layer of ice and exposes it. Oh man, that's cool. Look closely at what happens here. There's an air bubble and then the carbon dioxide infuses into it and then it rushes out and disappears. What a sweet effect. What's cool about that gas is it's still got that misty, foggy vapor. Let's just go ahead and do the whole bucket. Wow, that is cool. I think the coolest thing about this is just the setting. With everything frozen over, it kind of looks like one of those foggy English mornings with the uh, foggy vapor rolling around. Definitely gives it a different feel than we had at the hot springs. I could probably like stick my bucket on there in a bucket just sitting there. Random. If you get in close here, you can see these bubbles going crazy, and if you listen carefully, it almost sounds like they're squealing. You know what's interesting is a lot of the ice looks like it's kind of disappeared now. It wasn't a very thick layer, but the agitation from all those bubbles must be uh, dissipating that ice layer quickly. Look what's happening to the edges of the ice around where the dry ice went in. It's like reforming a frost layer. It might be water spattering out and then refreezing to that ice layer. Whatever it is, that looks pretty cool. So that is super cool, and of course it makes sense that if you trap dry ice underneath the ice, carbon dioxide is gonna build up a layer underneath. Fantastic experiment, I'm really glad that we tried that today. So there you have it, very cool experiment throwing dry ice into icy water. Thanks so much for joining me for this video, and I'll be looking for you in the next one. Talk to you then. Ice knife. Ciao.